those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare of the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I am trusting Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from the fatal plague. He will shield you with His wings. He will shelter you with His feathers. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor fear the dangers of the day, nor dread the plague that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you, but you will see it with your eyes you will see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your dwelling. For He orders His angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you with their hands to keep you from striking your foot on a stone. You will trample down lions and poisonous snakes. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. Knock, knock. I'm there to send you packing. Wait for it. Release the Kraken! Productions. No way, blood of everyone. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. It is said that beneath your feet there is a shadow world, a world that controls the government, that passes from one government to the next. This world, they say, that is underneath us is a world where the demons are actively engaged in preparing and building what they intend to bring upon the upon the face of the earth when they will deceive mankind. Come up production. No way, okay. During the military training dives in the Lake Baikal the frogmen had encountered mysterious underwater swimmers, as they called them, very human-like, except that their size was much larger, they were almost 3 meters tall. The so-called swimmers were dressed in tight, fitting silvery suits, despite icy cold water temperatures. At the depth of 50 meters, these swimmers used neither scuba diving equipment or aqua lungs for breathing, nor any other equipment. They only had spherical helmets which concealed their heads. Come up production. No way, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth! local military commander, who was quite alarmed by such encounters, decided on a plan to capture one of the creatures. To complete the mission, a special group of seven divers, under the command of an officer, had been dispatched to the lake. A 
apparently as the frogman tried to cover the creature with a net the entire group of the frogman was thrown out of the deep waters to the surface by some powerful unknown force such official documents without exception were highly classified so-called for the eyes only of a very limited circle of military officers come up production In 1954, Demidenko was accompanying high-ranking Beijing and Soviet military commanders while they inspected Red Chinese troops in Xinjiang province, in the Uyghur Autonomous Region, and Western Tibet, where the group actually spent the night in a Lamaist monastery. There, Demidenko met an old monk who was a Russian-speaking Mongol. Among many fascinating subjects, the monk told him of the caves in the Tibetan mountains, where the three meters tall giants remained in an anesthesia-induced sleep. One day they can wake up, according to the monk. Later, Dimitrenko heard stories that the Red Chinese army troops had entered one of these sacred caves, removed from there one of the sleeping amphibian giants and publicly hanged it. Story well known to the inhabitants of Buratia. On one of the mountains surrounding the Kudara Samon settlement, a manned apparatus had landed. Humanoid beings dressed in shining spacesuits exited that craft, but when they approached, the object flew towards Mongolia. Now, he doesn't mention the year, but he states that local fishermen exchanged disturbing stories that in different sections of the lake, they are sometimes scared by some anthropoid creatures in shiny suits. Like dolphins, those creatures jump out Come of water up, around the fishing boats. When the fishermen in the evening arrived at the fishing location near the Krugabaikalska railroad, they were met by several such swimmers in metallic looking suits, seemingly playfully jumping from the depths of the lake in the evening darkness and then noiselessly diving back underwater. The beings were three meters tall. The Koltak, Koltuk fishermen dropped their nets and fled home on their motorboat while being chased by mysterious creatures. The depth in the fishing spot is 1400 meters. The fishermen never returned there.